Well, planning is certainly very important. Um, uh, we are now, we don't have the, the luxury of using one herbicide to control all of our weeds. Uh, so that simplicity is, is, is gone in many areas, in many fields. Uh, so now we have to create a plan, and that plan usually starts with uh, using some sort of pre-emergent herbicide, uh, and then tank mixes, and, and the right burn down applications, and, and even timing. Uh, we have some farmers that use uh, fall, uh, fall applied burn down uh, treatments uh, to control things like mare's tail. Uh, so it's, it is a comprehensive plan. It, it does take uh, some effort, it takes a lot of scouting, uh, it does take data. Uh, we have a lot of great recommendations and data to support uh, these programs. Residual herbicides have not been used uh, for, for several years, but now they're getting a resurgence now because of the uh, resistant weeds. And uh, it's a very effective way to manage resistance. Uh, these herbicides uh, pr provide another mode of action to the system. Um, they provide uh, fairly long residual control uh, to the point where the can the soybeans will canopy the rows, and so we can get the weed control uh, until canopy time. Um, and they provide a uh, different mode of action, uh, a broad spectrum weed control uh, for many different pigweeds and, and, and water hemp and, and mare's tail and things like that that are resistant.